Hello you gorgeous people, how the dickens are you today? Today I'm talking about where we are in the world. Where are we? You might have asked that question and you might have an answer yourself. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So whilst I was chatting with the emissaries, I just said to them, look, tell me, where are we in the world? Where is the world at the moment? And they said this. Now, I speak Spanish, okay? So sometimes when they're giving me something, my mind converts their message into Spanish as well as English, okay? So the message that they give me when I said, where, where are we? Where is the world? And they give me this message. And the message was, for those who speak Spanish, El mundo se ha ido a la puta. Okay? El mundo se ha ido a la puta. Now, what that means in layman's terms in English is the world's gone to shit. That's what they said. But remember, that's not their words. They're my words converted, their message converted. Yeah? So I thought, Phew. and they were laughing, by the way, when they said that. And I thought, well, that's a bit strong, isn't it? Where's this message of great hope? You know, the world's gone to shit. And they said, no, but this is really good news. This is really good news. You see, there are, there's always a good news. What they said was, the reason that it's good news is that for this to end, the system that we have must collapse. It must collapse. It must fall flat. Now, that's good news and it's difficult for us because what they were saying was that what you're going to see is the collapse of everything that you've ever known around you the full collapse but it has to happen and they were very adamant they said this is a vital message for everybody the world must destroy itself and they said we must allow it to happen we must allow it to happen it's got to happen for this to come to an end. It won't happen if uh, it's put right. Does that make sense? And so that's why we mustn't put faith in the system to fix the system. And I know that it's, it's very tempting. It is very tempting to think that the political world is gonna be able to resolve this when we just get somebody good, yeah? And in every country, have you noticed, have you noticed, there's this little swing where people are moving away from the conventional, the uni party, as somebody said, you know, the, the two cheeks of the same arse. We're moving away from that. And people are starting to, to vote for, like, people who've never been heard of before, as long as they're not Labour or Conservative, as long as they're not right or left. And... That's because people think that the system is good enough to fix the system. No, the emissaries are saying absolutely not. If, if somebody fixes it, it will only break again because the way of the way that it's set up. It's set up, it's built around man, bad start, bad start. And I'm talking about man who is easily corrupted by power and money and it's built on corruption. It's built on the wrong premise, which is we will tell you what to do. And I know, you know, the word democracy. I mean, how cheap is that becoming? How cheap is the word democracy becoming? It's all, it's, a, it's an oxymoron. All right. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a slight on, on morons, really. I mean, you know, I take that back. There is no democracy. And even if there were democracy, we don't want democracy. That won't help us. We cannot be governed by people who we vote once a year into place, who then go on to be bribed and corrupted and, and distorted and are taken to parties where there's cocaine and prostitutes and they're, and they're all videoed. And it's just never going to happen. It's never going to happen. So we need a new system. We need a new system. And I read something, and I don't know whether I, I don't know whether it's a title that I came up with or whether it was somebody else who came up with it. But 
instead of this new world order, we need a you world order, okay? Which is, it's got to be for us. And I'm hearing a lot of talk as well from people who are very, very switched on to where we're going to. And this is something that the emissaries talked about a long time ago, that we will become self-governing, right? And that's about sovereignty and that's about, you know, we know best what we want. Now, the issue is they've sold us this big F off lie, which is that we don't know. And I remember having a conversation, I think with my father-in-law about politics. And, and I said, it's broken. It's rubbish. It's a big pile of shit. And he said, no, 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 no. We need intelligent people who know what's best for us because we don't know what's best for us. And I was thinking, wow, they've sold that lie really a lot. A lot of people believe that they do not have the capacity to manage themselves. What does that make them? A victim, right? No, we're moving into the world of sovereignty. We're moving into the victim mode, which is we know, you know what makes you happy. You know what makes you comfortable. You know what you need. You know, every day we make decisions about what we need. However, there's this horrible swathe of, of ridiculous people who keep imposing on us what we want. And they tell us what's good for us. And remember, the, the, the lie that they always tell us is that it's for the greater good. This is for the greater good. When they locked us down illegally, it was for the greater good. When they forced things on us, it was for the greater good. And then in retrospect, what's coming out near me is just everywhere. It wasn't for the greater good because they've got no fucking idea what the greater good is. What they know is it's for the greater good of their pocket. That's what the greater good is. And then if we get any benefit, well, that's just good luck. I've been noticing a few things happening and I'm going to come on to that about, about how we're going to change this. But I've noticed a few things happening with, um, with countries kind of deciding no. You know, and recently with Ireland, there was a, a referendum about whether they should change the constitution for the greater good. And the people said, no, we'll not be doing that. And well done them. Well done. Right. So they're maintaining the system, the voting and all of that. And maybe as an interim, that might be something that might help the situation. But the most important thing is that the people give voice to their concerns. The people have started to pay attention. Normally in referendums, not many people turn out. I don't know what kind of turnout, but they get like 20 or 30% of the people, 60% of the people turned out. Like they were not happy. And this is happening in various parts where people are starting to say no I mean I, I, you know whatever you think of that Scottish guy I can't remember his name now he's been around for a long time but he's in Rochdale and he went up to be the MP for Rochdale and it, it, I think between him and this no mark of a of a, a person who would never nobody knew who he was uh, they got 66% of the vote and the 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 Labour and Conservative got nothing at all. Why? Because people realise, hang on, there's something exceedingly wrong with these two political parties. They've never done anything. You know, everything's just going, going to shit. Yeah. And so they want something else, but they think that they can get it through the old system. And that's not the way that's going to be. This system must, must collapse. And it is collapsing. I mean, it's just falling into pieces everywhere we look that you know this year the emissary said it and many other people who were who were getting these kind of messages are saying that this year is the year of great revelations this is the year where we're going to see that you know it's like we're not going to see the fall of of this the system the system's already broken it's already in pieces we just don't know it and this year we're going to see it and you know it's going to be very very shocking for such a lot of people Great, that's what we need. So that's where we are in the world. El mundo se ha ido a la puta y son buenas noticias. The world has gone to shit and that's good news, okay? Because that leaves space. As it collapses, 
it leaves space for something new. And God knows, God knows, we need something new. We need a new world order, not a new world order. I love you all and I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.